hello everyone what we're going to focus on in this video is factorizing by grouping normally when you do factorize by grouping you are normally given four terms so let's look at some examples right so here we have factorized each of the following algebraic expression so the first expression that we have here is px plus py plus qx plus qy so we're going to factorize by grouping so we're going to separate them into pairs so let's draw a line here so what we have here is one pair and what we have over here is another pair so in this pair the objective is to take out the highest common factor so note we have p is common to both terms so p would be the highest common factor here so we're going to write that p right here then we're going to open a bracket and what we're going to do to factorize this we are going to use the p that we take up to divide each term that is here so px divided by p will just leave us with x and we'll write that inside this bracket then put back our plus sign and then py divided by p will leave us with y so we'll put the y here and close that bracket so we finish factorizing our first pair so we're going to go to the, the second pair so we'll put back our plus sign here and then observe the term so we have qx we have qy what is common to both term q so we're going to take that out and then open a bracket what are we going to do we're going to take this q to divide each term here so qx divided by q will leave us with x and write the x inside of the bracket put back our plus sign then we'll do the same thing so qy divided by q will leave us with y and we'll put the y right here and close our bracket so what is our next step to factor out what is common so note we have two terms now in the first term we in the bracket we have x plus y in the second term we have x plus y meaning that it is common to both terms so we can factor out x plus y so we're going to write x plus y right here go back our bracket i'm going to use this x plus y to divide each term up here so we must open a bracket so p times x plus y divided by x plus y the x plus y divided by x plus y will give us one and one times p is just p so we'll put the p here put back our plus sign here so here what we have is q times x plus y all divided by x plus y and that will just leave us with q but clearly anything divided by itself gives you one and one times anything give you back that thing so one times q is just q so we'll put our q here at this stage we are finished look at our second example first thing we need to group all right so let's separate them so this is our first pair as you can see and this is our second pair so we're going to look at each pair individually what we're going to do we have numbers so we're going to look for the highest common factor between the numbers so we have three and we have six which is the highest common factor of three and six that would be three so we'll write it here then we look at the letters we notice that a is common to both terms so we're going to write it here nothing else is being common so therefore the highest common factor of 3 ax minus 6ay is going to be 3a so we're going to open a bracket what are we going to do we're going to use this 3a to divide each term and then the result that we get we're going to write it inside of the bracket so 3ax divided by 3a clearly you can see that 3 divided by 3 will give you 1 and a divided by a will give you 1 and 1 times x will give us x so we're going to write that x right here 
put mark our subtraction sign. Then we do the same thing. We have 6ay divided by 3. So 6 divided by 3, that will give us 2. Write the 2 here. The a divided by a is just 1. And when you take 1 to multiply anything, it will give you back that thing. So in other words, the a will cancel out. So what we have left back is just y. So we put the y here. Close our bracket. Then we'll move to the second pair. Look at what is common. So what is common to both pair here is b. So we're going to factor that out. So we're going to put our b here. And then open a bracket. I'm going to use this b to divide each term up here. So bx divided by b, that leaves us back with just x. Back our subtraction sign. And 2by divided by b will just leave us with 2y. Here, are we finished? No, we can factorize some more because we have a common term. In bracket here, we have x minus 2y. That is common to both terms, so we can factor out that. So we're going to write x minus 2y here. Then we're going to use this x minus 2y to divide each term up here. And the result that we'll get, we write it in a bracket. So here you have 3a times x minus 2y divided by this x minus 2y. Clearly you can see that x minus 2y up here divided by x minus 2y will give you 1. And 1 times 3a will just leave you back with 3a. So we'll write it here. Then we're going to do the same thing to this term. So we have b times x minus 2y divided by this x minus 2y x minus 2y divided by x minus 2y will give us 1. And we take that 1 to multiply b will just give us back plus b. Another way you could then look at it is that whatever is on the outside, you're going to write it to form a, another bracket. So note that the 3a is here and the plus b is here. So now this is fully factorized, right? Now let's look at the third example. Again, we're going to factorize by grouping. So we split it up into pairs. So our first pair here, we have mx, we have nx. What is common to both terms? x, we're going to take that out. Open a bracket. What we're going to do with this x, use it to divide each term up here. So mx divided by x, leave us back with m. So back our plus sign and x divided by x is going to leave us back with n close our bracket put back our minus sign here so what is common between these two terms we have my and we have ny so y is common so we're going to factor out a negative y so we're going to open a bracket what that does when you divide two negative it will change the sign to plus. So here we have minus m my divided by a minus y that is going to leave us with a positive m. And here we have a minus ny divided by a minus y that will leave us with a positive n. So here, are we finished? No. We still have some common term. In the first bracket, we have m plus n. In the second bracket, we have m plus n. They are common to both terms. We can factor out m plus n. So we're going to factor out m plus n. Which is just to use m plus n to divide each term up here so what we're going to left back with is just x minus y as you can see and you are finished at this stage all right 